A while back, I did a first impressions review of the Life Do Fire Pit, and they reached out to me again and said, hey, we've made some improvements, and would you take a look at the newer model? And I thought the, the older model was actually pretty decent the way they had it designed, and I'll put a link to that video below so you can see how I used that, got the fire going in it, what my first impressions were, and I thought it was positive overall. But Life Do calls this unit the U-Rod, U-R-O-D, and it stands for You Are Our Designer. And as silly as that may seem, the reality of it is, is that they do take feedback from users and testers, and people bring up issues with them, and they try to fix it in every iteration of this fire pit that they come out with. That's admirable that the company is doing that, and so I thought it was worth getting a second one, taking a look at it to see what changes they've made. I didn't go through the process of, of getting a fire going because that all is essentially the same. You put it together the same way, you uh, struggle with it a little bit because it's a little awkward to put together, but once it's together, it's nice and sturdy. Uh, it locks in place and I wouldn't have any concern with you know, tossing more wood into it or cooking on it because it does have a grill or a, a cooking grate and I think it's gonna stay pretty sturdy. The weight is still up there. I think this one runs about 17 pounds. The last one was about 18 pounds. Again, that may be a weight issue for some folks because you've got an issue for us. For example, we travel in a Class B RV. So having that extra weight is something to be concerned about sometimes. It also continues to fold flat. And that is an advantage for somebody like us who is traveling in a smaller vehicle because it does pack flat. It goes into its own little bag that you can carry it around in, and that is a huge benefit. I wanna to touch on three main things that I have found that are different between the last model I had and this model. Let's start with the material. If you've seen my other video, and if you haven't, go back and watch it for a, a more complete review, you'll know that it is a black unit. So what you will notice about this new one is how shiny it is. That is because it is now made out of stainless steel, and that could be a benefit to a lot of people if that's what you would rather have. In some ways, I kind of liked the black from a coolness factor, but you know, bright and shiny stainless steel is what's gonna do it for other folks, so maybe that's a good thing in that regard. That could be seen as a positive. Another improvement I see is the bottom grate that you're actually gonna put your wood fuel on. It is much sturdier. It is designed in such a way that I don't think that some of your smaller sticks or kindling material is gonna fall through quite as easily, and that was something I raised in the first video I did and in in, with the first unit that I had. The older unit that they sent me had a much smaller bottom grate. It's uh, thin in terms of the, the grating itself that's on it, and so I think some of the kindling and, and other small sticks and things might fall through there. It's not really flimsy, but it's not really heavy duty either. This new one is kind of a beast. It feels much sturdier, it's hefty. As you can see, the, the holes are gonna allow for plenty of airflow, but they are not as widely spaced. They're not gonna let as much of the smaller sticks and, and kindling and things fall through. So I think that is going to be an improvement for a lot of people. I mentioned the weight being a little bit different. I think this new unit is just a little bit lighter, probably not enough to make a difference but the dimensions otherwise appear to be just about the same. And so it's gonna be the same size when it's uh, set up and being used. It's gonna be the same size when it's folded flat, which is one of the benefits of this unit by Life Do is how flat it folds. And so you could store it in the bay of an RV or in the trunk of a car if you're going out for a weekend with friends to do some camping or you're just heading out somewhere and you need to have another little fire pit, maybe not for cooking, but for folks sitting around trying to stay warm and you know, these, these chilly fall days, cold fall days that we have here in Michigan, that would be a, a welcome thing to bring with you if you're visiting friends. The, the one issue I have though with the dimensions being exactly the same is this bag that they sent, the carry bag, is essentially, it's the same material, it's just an open bag with carry handles. The old one was quite a bit larger. The unit fit down inside the bag. This one, the unit barely fits into the bag, both in terms of length and width. Uh, and height, depth, however you want to measure it, it barely fits. To me, that's a problem because if I'm going to store this thing somewhere, I don't want to get banged up. I don't want it to scratch up against other things if it's inside a car or inside your RV, for example. So that's one I think where they probably did it to save a little money and that's a, that's a cost-cutting measure that doesn't impact the fire pit itself or the quality of it. And I think that's good that they, they spent their money on that instead of the carry bag. But 
The old carry bag was plenty large. It fit in there really well. And I think that's just a nice touch to have. So again, not a huge issue, but I was a little disappointed in the fact that the new bag is smaller. It's a nice unit. I think that for the price that they're offering, it's well built, it's sturdy. It's gonna serve folks who have a need for a portable fire pit. Remember, it's portable. So it's not gonna stand up to some of the challenges you might have with a regular heavy duty fire pit that's gonna not change shape. But I think this is gonna give some folks a real opportunity to take a fire pit with them when they might not have had that opportunity before or to keep something in their yard maybe and then put it away seasonally. It's something that you might wanna consider. Take a look at it. The folks at LifeDo are listening. So if you get it and you have some concerns over it, let them know they're gonna work with you on it. And if nothing else, the next generation is gonna to continue to be improved.